It was a pretty crazy week for Michigan football. Two days ago, the Michigan Daily reported that Tay Forcier was walking around on crutches and wearing a black boot. The Detroit News said he sprained an ankle. Then yesterday, it was reported he was practicing and looking good. That built up the drama for the spring game for the Maize and Blue. And the guy who looked good, well, he's not denied. Instead, he's Denard Robinson. Scrambling straight ahead for the touchdown. Now, as for Mr. Forcier, he looks fine handing the ball off to Michael Cox, who does the rest. He runs for another score for the white team. Well, back to Robinson with a ton of time. He takes advantage of it, finds Roy Roundtree. The blue team, they get the win 49-37. Here's Rich Rod on the quarterback competition. They all have a little ways to go, but uh, it's a very, very competitive situation, and I don't know if it'll be solved as far as who's the number one guy by the first game. It may or may not. We'll see in August practice. But I hope, again, I hope there's more than one that we feel we can win with, and I think there will be. Now, over the last few years, Michigan's made a habit of relying on players from the area. Last year, Clay's Jordan Kovacs was second in the team in tackles as a walk-on. And then you have Whitmer's Kevin Coger and Wasion's Elliot Mueller, who were part of the same class. Now, Mueller got banged up earlier this week, so he was on the sidelines cheering on his fellow Wolverines. Hey, this past Tuesday, I was uh, blocking somebody. I got some, somebody fell on my foot, and, you know, just got tangled up. So that's football for you. And never know when your last play is going to be, but it's just something minor and takes some time, so I'll be all right. It was exciting, man. I, I, I love getting out there in front of the fans, putting on the show. So I, we had a lot of fun today. I mean, it wasn't a, as much pressure as the game, but, I mean, we, we, we wanted to impress the crowd. It seems like uh, just yesterday we were playing Ohio State in the big house, but it's nice to get back out here, get back after it, and uh, I'm really excited for the season to come around. I think that there's a lot of things that we did well in spring, but there's a lot of improvements that we've got to make, and we're going to get that straightened up and, can't wait to get back out there. Now we spoke about Wasion's Elliott Mueller. How about the Wasion Little Leaguers, huh? Making their presence felt at the UTBG baseball game and endorsing their Sour Patch Kids. BG up 6-2. Not anymore. Fifth inning, Joe Korfman uncorks one over the left field wall. Two-run blast makes a 6-4. BG still in front. Seventh inning, John Birdie with an RBI single. BG would score another to make it 8-4, which was barely enough. Falcons win 8-7, their second straight win over UT.